today is testing day. Hello, it's me from the future. Just a little note, numbers are not everything. I think I have proved that over the last few years. I'm definitely not the most powerful of all riders, and that was never a sole focus of mine. There is so much more to bike riding than just pure numbers, so take this video with a pinch of salt. I do talk about numbers a lot, uh, but that's because it's the focus of this video. Alex Dowsett has made some great videos on young rider development, and I would urge you to watch them to hear his experiences and advice for young riders. Your FTP doesn't win a bike race, uh, being the fastest does. Also, this was filmed back in June, so the number is a bit outdated now. Lockdown restrictions were also less severe, uh, so that's why I traveled to do my training this day. Anyway, on with the video. Able to do my testing today. So the reason I've come down to Peebles is so I can get nice long climbs to do my 20 minute effort on. But I'm gonna do a one minute, five minute and 20 minute effort today. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be very tough. So I'll get finished getting in my kit and then we'll get a warm up and then we'll get this thing going. Okay, so protocol for today, starting with a 30 minute warm up, just to open up legs, get everything working, getting a bit stiff this morning so that'll be good. Then we've got two one minute efforts, all out, with adequate rest between uh, two because I probably won't go hard enough in the first one. Then good rest again, and then five minutes all out, another good rest, and the big one 20 minutes all out. So. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to do them all on climbs, off-road, smooth off-road. Um, yeah, should be good. It's warm today, but it's overcast, so it won't get too, too hot. Let's give it a roll and see what we can get out of the session. Almost finished my warm-up. I'm going to do my first one-minute effort up the main fire road climb in Glentress. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I've got the GoPro on the front, so I'll have that going while I'm doing the efforts and I'll put some power over the top so you can see what type of numbers I'm doing. But after, after the whole session I'll run down the numbers and watch per kilo and all of that so all you geeks can, uh, uh, can work it out. But yeah, first one minute effort now. Give it everything I've got and see where we're at. First one done. First 30 seconds, my legs felt like wood. And then for the last 30 seconds, they felt like fire. I'm gonna spin out all this lactate now for 10 minutes. And then we go again. Both of them were pretty much identical, so that should be my max. 
Um, yeah, they felt all right. Ah, it's so hard to judge, isn't it? Like, maybe on a longer ride, when I'd be fully warm, like, in my rhythm, I could do more, but that's the whole point of the test, is that it's always the same, so 30 minute warm up, and then those one minute efforts are done. So, five minute test now, next. Um, just as hard as the one minute, but last five times as long. But um, yeah, this one suits me more, I think, I guess. So, spin around for half an hour, get gel in me. I think I can do it on the next climb. Not often I fall down after an effort, but that hopefully means I've given it my all. Well, yeah, I think I did my best power again, which is sick. So now, onto the biggie. and then all the way to the mast, all on fire roads. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll make it to the mast, but it's gonna be over 20 minutes, so that's ideal. Yeah, still a bit meh, but I'm sure a few minutes into this effort, I'll be pushing again, so that's good. Let's finish it off good, get those numbers up. Let's have it.
had plenty of time to get to the top, but the minutes just kept ticking down. I got closer and closer, so I got to the top with, with still like a minute and a half to go. So I kind of turned around and kind of pedaled downhill with my brake on as hard as I could, but I still had stuff left. Like, still had more to give, which is frustrating. So my average power for the 20 minutes was uh, three, five, eight. But I went relatively hard into the into the effort just to get the legs going. So I'm hoping that my 20 minute power will be all right from there. But damn, that's frustrating. That's a bit ironic. The reason I came to Tweed Valley is so I could get a long climb and then I go and run out of climbing. But yeah, here's what it is. But the good thing is I feel great, which is my, oh, so happy. Like it's such a relief. I've had some really good consistent blocks and uh, just seeing progression every every block and it's just yeah it's perfect when you get those power numbers on the up and everything so yeah we'll get down to the van get some clothes on get some food in me and then we'll talk through the power numbers but yeah overall very positive I've smashed my PBs in every every area bit annoying about that last one but we can do again we can try again it's an improvement and I know I've got a bit more to give, so it's very good. Awesome. Get all these flies away from me. Also, it's so hot. It's like a dead calm, warm day. Just spinning along the road for my recovery. Look at the view. I absolutely love the borders. Everywhere you look. Just rolling hills. The rice just stopped loading now. I probably won't be able to help myself from having a wee look, but uh, I'll get changed and then I'll talk you through the numbers. Okie dokie. All changed, gonna have banana and recovery shake and talk you through these numbers then. So, first number, it wasn't officially on the test, in the warm-up I did a 5 second sprint to just help with the openers, and I did 1,018 watts for 5 seconds, and that was my all-time best 5 second power. Uh, not mega high, nothing impressive really going on with my sprinting, but um, there you go, all-time best. Next one was the 1 minute, uh, one minute efforts, which were pretty much identical, so I had two of them. First one was 602 watts, second one was 606 watts for a minute, and that works out. And well, Strab, um, Training Peaks thinks my best ever one minute power was today with 610 watts. So the lap, obviously, I might have uh, gone a little bit harder at the start of the lap when I pressed it and stuff, so obviously that accounts for it. So 610 watts for one minute which is my all-time best. My previous best was like 500 and something, so it's a big... I'll put all of the new power and old power at the end of each effort so you'll be able to see that, but I'm just talking through it now. And the five minute power, uh, this was a savage one. I did 419 watts for five minutes, uh, which is a big improvement as well um, on, my, on my previous one. Uh, then the next one actually is my 10 minute power. I got my best ever 10 minute power today during my 20 minute test. So I did 363 watts for 10 minutes today. And then for the overall 20 minute power, it was 358 watts for 20 minutes. And that was my all time best today. So yeah, with that 20 minute one, I'm a little bit frustrated because I kind of ran out of road at the top. Um, but I think the bit just before I started my 20 minute um, was kind of hard enough to keep the power up. Um, but I think if I went and did that again on a full climb, I could maybe eke out four or five watts here. Um, so that would bring me above 360. But yeah, today, 358 watts for 20 minutes, which I'm stoked with. Uh, another big improvement. And yeah, I was 61 kilos this morning. So works out at like 5.89 watts, 5.8 watts, 5.9 watts. So watts per kilo. So good. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what me as a saddlecross rider can do. These obviously are massive improvements and that's 
the kind of stage I am right now. I'm in right now. Like I'm making like 30, 40 watt improvements in a few months, um, just through the volume of training, the type of training. So this isn't going to happen forever. Uh, this is exciting because I get to see massive improvements. But yeah, it's definitely not going to happen forever. So yeah, all my zones will be adjusted to those new numbers. Uh, I think my threshold now comes out the theoretically what I can hold for an hour now comes out at 340 watts so all my um, numbers will be adjusted for that which will mean training becomes a little bit harder I guess because the last few weeks I've been basing my training off kind of outdated numbers I guess as I've got stronger and I've got better form so that's a good thing though it means training will be more consistent more accurate and uh, and yeah we'll just have to wait for some racing now but I can't I can't complain really happy with that and yeah, hope you've enjoyed watching, so thank you, see you later.